This is the Kaku Voodoo. It is a stand up paddle board, kayak, micro skiff hybrid, whatever you want to call it. What's really appealing is this nice seat, which sits up pretty high, has good comfort pad, has a curved backrest right here that you can actually put your feet on this and stand on it and sit on this back. Get yourself a high vantage point when you're fishing. Uh, yesterday it came in, I put on the ram uh, cup holder anchor wizard with a five pound anchor two rod holders from brocraft two yak attack uh paddle holders uh, it came in there's just a couple of little scuffs right here nothing unexpected uh, very very nice and last night I mounted this uh, battery box and this Brocraft transom mount and this Endura Minn Kota Endura 30 pound thrust trolling motor has an extension handle and I put this little holder up here. The uh, where this mounts, it mounts to a plastic piece, which is real thick and it seems sturdy enough. I think it won't give me any issues. But if it does, I'll just have to make a metal one to replace that. This is meant to be my wife's kayak for fishing yeah I like it so much that I see myself using it too when she doesn't go and I still got to figure out how to carry both kayaks to the to the lake at the same time I'll figure that out later all right now if that's hooked up show you how this works you got this long handle you just twist it one way to go forward other way to go to reverse and to steer you just push out I'm very satisfied with this I think it's going to be fantastic well, the battery I have right now to operate this inside this is kind of small for this case but this has uh, a uh, car adapter and it has a USB port on the other side for charging your phone or whatever keeping it charged uh, probably add a fish finder to this and uh, but it, it seems to be pretty nice that's just a 35 amp hour battery that's in there I think it'll give me about Oh, three or four hours total use, but both basically we go out on small lakes, just get to where you're going, anchor down, fish for a while, move to the next spot. So total traveling time to fishing time, you can probably go out there for about eight hours, and uh this case does have a nice little feature on it this uh you press and hold this button and it'll show you how much battery you have left so that way we can keep track of that and not get stuck out there and run out of battery but even if you do all you got to do is paddle back with the paddle and the only thing i have left to do right now I want to be able to raise and lower this motor from the seat so I'm gonna to have to make a way to pull this lever in and pull this up so that's what this is 
this is for I replaced the uh, this set screw with this right here I'm gonna pull put a uh, uh, probably a paracord go around through there attached to this come over here go around the seat probably and back up to, to the motor itself that way I can pull on this and not pull from the handle I don't want to pull from the handle so I'm working on that after that all I need to do is get it out on the water and uh, see how she does I think it's going to be fantastic All right, I got this Kaku Voodoo. I have it out on uh, Lake Altus. And as you can see, we're in a drought. It's pretty bad. Water level's real low. It's lower than the last time I was out here, and it's actually rained a few times since then. Tells me they're releasing too much, in my opinion. But we'll see if we can catch something. I ran into a couple of people leaving. They didn't catch a darn thing. I doubt we'll catch anything. But uh, really, I'm just out here to test this kaku out and see how it goes. I wanted a good kayak for my wife, kids, or a friend to use when one of them wants to join me while I went fishing. While I like my Perception Pescador Pilot, I wanted something different, and less traditional, and less expensive this time. As usual, I read and watched reviews, and eventually stumbled across this Kaku Voodoo, which is really a stand-up paddleboard with a nice seat. And that's a big understatement. The seat is really, really great. Uh, most of the videos out there were from the manufacturer. Maybe one or two people that were owners had something to say about it on YouTube, but no reviews. I could see a lot of potential in it, although it didn't see anyone outfitted exactly the way I was thinking of doing it. I couldn't afford one of those nice GPS trolling motors, or called an anchor motor, or the torpedoes, and I wanted to keep it cheap as possible. I did make a note of some concerns out there about not having any safety to cut off the trolling motor if you fell off, but that's easily fixed with a foot switch, which is now in order. I took a gamble on the Brocraft transom mount to mount the trolling motor, but luckily it worked out great and was cheap and it was easily installed. It was almost like it was made for it. I could see a possibility of making a new mount and getting the three horsepower outboard or somewhere around there and someday using it as a micro skiff. But as I have it now, it is darn near perfect for my needs. I'm so impressed that I might use it while I go solo instead of using the Perception Pescador Pilot. It's 13 feet long. 35 inches wide and it weighs 77 pounds and the capacity is 450 pounds For stability, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 with the seat and standing up I was able to cruise with the trolling motor going Even while standing and that's something I cannot do with my other kayak For value it is a 4 out of 5 just because it's a little pricey at $1,200 and with all the added options around it it's $1,600 but if I use this as much as I think I'm going to this may go up to a 5 out of 5 for the tracking I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 because with the paddle it doesn't track all that great and with the trolling motor it does pretty good it's all about the seat though. This thing is fantastic with the seat. So my overall ride, uh, rating is going to be a 5 out of 5. Thank you for watching. If you like any of my videos, please subscribe and press like if you like this one.